Well, good morning YouTubers. This is my very first attempt at an Adirondack chair and I made this, well, just about free of charge. Um, every piece of wood on it is part of a pallet. I used six pallets and um, basically it took a lot of work to do it but it's something I wanted to do for a very long time so I just wanted to show you it. Um, I already had the screws left over from other projects. Uh, I had the glue left over from my um, air contraction unit and as you can see look at the arm for example this is made of several pieces, several slats of pallets and in actual fact you will note that it's actually two pallets, two slats thick. You can see on the end here there's one, two, three, four, five, six because I couldn't get the right thickness so I had to join them all together. Uh, this design is my own design. I mean it's basically the same design as any other had your own that chair, excepting the fact that I didn't have any plans. Uh, I didn't take any plans from the internet, I just did a lot of research on it. Uh, basically, I looked at all the YouTube videos available and uh, I went on to Google, did more research. Look, you can see there's actually two slats together there from several different uh, pallets and uh, here we have it it's extremely comfortable um, it's been recommended by orthopedic practices uh, as a very very comfortable chair because of the curves the linear curves this exceptional for your back and this is ideal to sit by the pool, read your book. Once you sit in it, you don't want to get out of it. Um, I've changed. I'm the way I did it. Basically, I looked at as much as I possibly could on YouTube and Google. YouTube was great. Google Images and looked at loads and loads of different images, um, and then I just made a template of what I thought would be a good one. So, what I did then was I drew cardboard uh, template. Um, I then joined all the wood together to make the right size for the templates. Um, and then I drew around the template whilst placing the templates on the individual pieces of wood, like for example this arm, yeah, and then I did a basic jigsaw cut around the edge, making sure that it was a lot bigger than uh, where I'd actually drawn the template. I then sanded the pieces down uh, with belt sander to start with, and then hand sanded fine sanding. By the way, this is the rough raw form of the chair. This is before I put the uh, varnish or stain or whatever I'm going to put on it. Um, there you go. Pallets, 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 pallets. Um, I will either do another very short video after this one once I've stained it so that you can actually see what it looks like after. You can see that there's several different pieces Several, several different pallets used for this. Anyway, once I'd sanded it finely, I screwed all the pieces together. Um, I didn't glue the pieces together, like the arm onto the leg, because I can't actually get it through the door. Uh, I want to make seat covers for it. I'm also going to make a sunshade cover for the top, and I'm going to make a tabletop that will twist around and tilt so that you can actually read a book 
on it. You can eat a meal, or you can put your laptop on it, or your iPad, or whatever you want. And it's an all round very, very comfortable chair. I'm very pleased with it, I'm pleased with the design. Um, now, the work that went into it is massive. So I wouldn't be selling these chairs because um, the labour outweighs the profit. Uh, but as a little project, well, it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Um, I will be making more of these chairs, but the next ones I'll be making... I made this actually all in my wife's kitchen. She wasn't too happy. But we've cl I've cleaned it all up now, so... Um, I haven't got a garage. Um, in the future, I hope to have a garage or a little workshop. I want to be building some more of these, but I'm going to be using cedar or uh, what else do I use? Teak, that's it, or something like that. Some, something that's going to be really good for the outside. As I say, I already had some bits up in my loft and I just needed to get the pallets and pallets are free. I just walked around my little village, there's a lot of building work going on, and basically I just scrounged pallets from the builders. If I saw one that I liked, I asked the builder if I thought it would be good. Uh, you, you'll not believe this, but we well, may not, but these pallets originally look really rough and old and everything like that, but all you need to do is do a basic sand, um, I recommend a belt sander. <laughs> And, um, you know, they turn out like this, which I'm really pleased with, as I say. So, what do you think of it? If you like it, please uh, tell me about it. And if you've got any questions at all about it, or anything you want to know about it, then please let me know. I'm really hoping you like it. And it's all made from pallets. Every part, every piece of wood on this was once part of a pallet. So, there we go. I think that's about enough for now. Um, I will do another short video. As I say, once I've actually uh, put the varnish on it, or lacquer, some people call it lacquer, and then you'll see it in its final setting. And I will then sit in it and have a cup of tea, like every good Englishman should. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Goodbye and goodbye Andy Rodney, that chair. Adi Wondak.